Hi there, and in this short video, I'm going to talk about how we can effectively use uh, the heading options here along our ribbon at the top of Microsoft Word. So I'm just going to start by uh, creating a heading. So I've just used generic wording here. So first heading, and then I'm just going to add some text. And what you can do to uh, just just for this example, or if you want to use some placeholder text, as it's often called, or lorem ipsum text uh, to all you designers out there, this will be very um, recognizable. If you just type equal sign, lorem, open parentheses, close parentheses, and hit enter, it's just going to put in a bunch of, it almost looks like Latin, but it's just um, placeholder text, we could say, for, for examples. So <clears throat> let me just highlight that. I'm going to copy it, control C or command C on your Mac, and I'll do that uh, one more time. So perfect. Now, each of these first headings, let's go just change this up to it. second so we can follow it and uh, third okay cool so if I just highlight that and even if I hover over heading one but I'll just click on it to make it a, a heading now what I can do is everything below that becomes collect collapsible which is really cool let's do the second here to or the second heading same thing click it now everything from first heading down to the next heading will be collapsible. So see that? And everything below second heading will be collapsible. So last one but not least, let's do third heading. Okay, so all great, really useful that I can keep my document very organized by having these collapsible headings. But what about if I do something like this? Let me uh, highlight and copy and let's start uh, pasting in a bunch of headings. So let's go down here and we'll just collapse this. Oops, I need to open that one and start pasting in a bunch of headings. That's the same thing again. We'll go down to the bottom of the third one, open the third, go down to the bottom. The reason I'm doing this is just so I don't leave in any kind of formatted spaces between the last one and the beginning of what I'm and uh, pasting here at the moment. Sometimes that can happen. So you'll see here, uh, if you watch along the bottom here, the number of pages will, will start to grow as I continue to do this. Okay, let me now just collapse all of those thirds and I'll really start ramping up the number of headings uh, now um, once I collapse all of these simply by Go control A to select all, control C to copy all, and then let's do this a couple of times. Boom. There's another whole bunch of headings. And boom. And a whole bunch of headings. Okay, so now we have lots and lots and lots of he headings. So say that I opened uh, a few of them along the way, or even let's say I had them all opened after reading through them all or working on them all or whatever it may be. And now I want to go back through my document and I have to collapse each one of these one by one. It's a very, very tedious process. So what's a great option, especially, look here, I only have five pages of um, text but it's already nearly 5,000 words and it's lots of headings. So what I can simply do is click or I should say right click on any one of the headings and go to this option expand or collapse and then you can go first of all expand all so that opens all of the headings or same thing right click on any one of the headings and expand collapse and collapse all headings. There is the real uh, value and power in this uh, tool because you can open and close uh, everything and this becomes really useful when you have many 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 headings as I do in that case. Okay uh, if you found this video please like subscribe and leave a comment below uh, you could even leave a request for a tech tip on another uh, tool whatever that tool may be and I will get on creating that for you. Thank you very much.